recording. It is Wednesday, Thursday, and my first job just canceled. It was uh, maintenance uh, filter cleaning, quarterly filter cleaning. They pay uh, to have us come there every so often. But I'm on my way now to a Bosch. I'm not sure if it's a Green Star or a Green Therm or what exactly it is, but they need the annual maintenance. At the next probably light, a tankless turn flush. left. And that's going to be in Atlantic Beach, so hopefully I get some good footage. This will be the first Bosch I'm doing a maintenance on. Driving down Atlantic Beach now, I thought I'd show you the view. It's a super, super nice day out. It's 69 degrees. A little bit cloudy. It'll be a little bit windy because I'm so close to the water. But I'm going to be pulling up to my job in a couple seconds. Just thought I'd show you it. Okay, so here's the Bosch. Makeshift manifold, but they do have valves in there for me to flush and no neutralizer because this is just ejecting straight outside. But I'm gonna get started with the flush. I'll open up the hot water, make sure it starts to heat. And as that comes out, I'll pull the power, which is coming in right there. Okay, so I got my bucket filling up, dissolving my chemical. Uh, it is about lukewarm water. Uh, my machine's power is off. And once this fills up about a little over halfway, I'll close it, my cold water in. That way I can start the flush and I'll hook up my hoses. And right about there should be fine. And then I'll hook everything else up and plug in the pump. Okay, so got my pump, it's pumping in the inlet, out the outlet. You can see how dirty the water already is. It has been five years since the system has been flushed. And while it's flushing, I'll take a look at everything else, make sure everything at least looks good. I'll test our condensate pump. We'll do a combustion analysis when we're done. And should be good to go. Taking a look at everything, we got our cover off. You can see the inside of this unit still looks like how it would look installed from day one, aside from some dust, which shows you how well these machines are built for all the people that hate on them. Let's see if we have a year. don't see a year, but this was installed right after Sandy, so I think that's around 2012. So this is 10 years, give or take, that this unit has been mounted on this wall, and it has only been touched twice. Once for the install, one for service. Not a single part has been replaced. Ten-year-old system installed after Sandy has only been touched one other time for a tankless flush. Not a single part on it is needed replacement, and it's still running perfectly and looks almost like the day it was installed. And it doesn't even have a proper manifold; it has a makeshift manifold, but. This machine definitely is holding up. Okay, and here's my water after that flush. Now I have my hose going in. To flush some clean cold water through. And I'll slowly open it up. And you 
can see we are getting some pretty nasty water. So, open it up fully. Flush some clean water through for another 30 minutes. Just like that. And while that flushes, I'm gonna make some tags. So I've got my hot water, I'll have a boiler water supply, and a gas for the boiler. And we'll punch those with the hole puncher and zip tie them up to the corresponding pipes. Got my tags on, cut the zip tie short, and look at this boiler feed valve. I can't even close it. It's just wedged there in the drywall. But uh, still flushing with clean water. Still taking a look at everything closely, making sure nothing looks visibly damaged or worn. No burnt wires or leaky connections, and everything looks really good. Okay, and I just plugged it back in and started it up. So it's gonna go through its starting sequence, making sure the trap is primed. Right now it is firing, and I'll make sure we get good hot water flow. Let's see, our heat exchanger does have a flame in there. And I'll do a combustion analysis with the Testo. And to test the heating, I'm gonna raise up this thermostat. And you can see that we fire immediately. Temperature is dropping as the cold water flows through. And you can feel the hot water is coming out. And This zone is the one that's on, goes down and through into the basement. And we're getting the crossed T's because it is holding itself in low fire to make sure that the trap is filled since it's the first time the system is running since being uh, plugged in. Cause I had it turned off to do my flush. And I'll let it go through its sequence and make sure it runs and the two T's go away, that way they're good to go for the winter. Okay, and I just turned on the upper floor, which is actually the main floor thermostat, so that I can make sure that that one is working as well, and that the boiler doesn't overheat or anything like that, that there's good flow. See, we were at 160-ish and we're already dropping because it's pulling the cold water back to the boiler. And this zone is already getting hot. Our zone came on on our relay. So, I'm actually gonna lower this one since we know that one's working and I don't wanna bake the house. And let's see, our coastly space tees are now gone, so system is fully operational. I'll just make sure that this zone gets hot and there are no issues with the boiler while it's running. You can also see the sticker, um, the packing slip with my combustion analysis results. Um, rating is 9.4, or yeah, 9.4. We're at 9.5. There's a tolerance of 0.2. So I'm not gonna mess with it because it's so old. And uh, our carbon monoxide is very low as long as it's under 200. We like to see it under 50, but the manufacturer is 200. And I did put a card in, so she remembers who worked on it, if there are any issues, or she wants to see me specifically again. But uh, overall, everything seems to be running perfectly after 10 years, and not a single part has been replaced. And another thing I'm checking, I'm looking around, to see if there's any carbon monoxide detectors. I see none on the ceiling. I don't see any plugged in. And none in the bathroom, which is where the 
system is. It's in a closet for the bathroom. So I'm going to make sure that this homeowner knows how important it is that she get a carbon monoxide detector for not just this, not just the boiler, but for the rooms. And hopefully she has one on the first floor, which is where she lives. But you can see systems running. We're not overheating. We're slowly going up on our temperature. And this indicator does mean that we have flame. So everything is running perfectly. Okay, so I finished up with that. That went super well. Um, the customer, she's an older lady who's had the same plumber for like 15 years and he died of a heart attack. So she called us and she was super, super thrilled uh, with the service and she'll be using us for everything from now on. But one thing she said was how much she loved Bosch. She hasn't had any issues with that machine. I think she has a few appliances in the house that are Bosch and she has no issues with any of them. And everything's about 10 years old because things were replaced from Sandy. But uh, yep, that's it. On to the next call, which is an AC call in Woodmere. I think I'm going to make that a separate video, so hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did like the video, uh, comment any At advice, the line, turn right onto West Beach Street. or criticisms, and subscribe.